Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. And tonight, we're gonna try to beat this thunderstorm out behind me and do a little bit of fishing off the dock. It's a pretty breezy little storm that's blowing through here. It looks like it's going to be off to the south of me, so I'll be fine. There's not too much lightning around, just quite a bit of wind, but we're going to go ahead, get out here, start some fishing. To get things started, we're going to use a tried and true color, this black and white pattern with a little bit of red at the bottom of the bill, and with this larger bill as well, we get a little bit more action so we can work this thing not only deeper, but at a slower speed. But since they're feeding so actively right now, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. There we go, the first fish. And there we go, first fish of the night. Nice little speck to start it all off. Absolutely munched on that lure. And of course, the rain is just starting right as I catch this first fish. What are the odds? That is a big red. Big red right off the just lower end, just found that minnow and he hit it. I have to tighten that drag up and he, I'm just gonna wear him out. As long as he does go into the dock, I'm happy. Exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get around those pilings. Oh! Now the line didn't snap, but I'm wondering if the hook gave way. Been out. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Look at that. The hook right there, that front one, that one completely bent out. And this back one also bent out. I didn't have much of a choice there. I either had to fight that fish, try to bring him out a little bit more, or I was gonna lose him and end up snapping the line and all of that anyway. Oh, that was a hit. There's another one. Ah. Dang it. I wanna try to catch one more fish. This is the second one that's gotten off. And if that doesn't work, I'm probably gonna have to switch out lures because I don't have any more treble hooks because these things just might already be shot with one redfish. And there's another one on. Another nice big red. You can see how he's hovering against the bottom a little bit more. Trying to get under that dock. If you get their head above water, you stand a much better chance. Just like right there. That's our first red for the night. The storm appeared absolutely out of nowhere, and now it looks like we're gonna have 100% chance of rain for the next few hours, but it looks like it may be light, and if that's the case, we're just gonna continue fishing since we're already out here. There's another nice red drum. Ooh. Okay, it's official. Hooks on these things are absolutely trash. Time to retire this bait. <laughs> he can put on another one until I can get some more treble hooks. And although I haven't seen any shrimp in the area, I don't know why. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this guy out there for a little bit anyway. Maybe something will hit him, maybe not. I'm not too sure, but let's give him a shot anyway. That gives me even more hope. That's a speckled trout too. Yeah, that's a small one. <laughs> I think we'll let him go in just a minute here. 
or he'll let himself go. See ya. I've never thrown this type of Yozuri before. It's about a three and a half inch floating minnow and it's got a nice big bill on it so it can dive down real deep and I'm hoping that'll be beneficial for all these redfish. The max I usually throw is two and a half to three inches. Even those three and a half inch, I'm hoping having a little bit bigger hook and just with these little bit bigger fish, it, they won't mind it essentially. So we'll see how this does and give it a shot. Another jumper. Oop. Come on. I just saw I was getting it out of the water. He came up and snatched it. Again, that's a really small trout, so as long as he's not too mangled up, we're going to take him, throw him back. we be trying to add a lot of baits. Got another one rigged up. Same color, same pattern as one that I had on here, but a little bit shorter. But still has that decent sized bill on there, and it's actually extended out a little bit. And I wonder how well that's going to produce, if that makes a little bit of a difference. It's also got a little bit fatter body, so it looks more like the minnows around here. Rather, this looks more like an offshore bait that you would actually throw behind you or something of that nature, honestly. There is another trout. I don't want to play around with him too much, just want to get him in. Right as he got to the net, came off. That's how it goes though sometimes. Oh. One more fish comes off and it's gonna be time to retire this lure for the night as well. We're gonna have to give something else a try. There's another one, right? Do not come off. Do not come off. Do Time to retire you from the night. Well, now that I've gone through all these lures and basically just trashed the hooks on them, time to open up this new one. This is another Yozuri 3DS minnow, and I think this one is a suspended one. But again, got that little bill on the end. It has a good action to these type, and I had some good luck with the black and white pattern, as we saw with this one earlier, or more specifically, this one over here. Oh, that's a little bit better. All right. Finally, we can catch one more fish. I think we are going to call it a night, considering we've already had an amazing night and I'm absolutely worn out. down oh. there we go not the best net job in the world but he's in I fished with nine or ten different baits tonight and one of the biggest questions I'm always asked at in the comments is well, what was your favorite bait of the evening what caught the most fish so something I'm going to start doing is giving you a bait of the night, bait of the eating, whatever this is going to be. And it's going to be a distinguished bait that just produced amazingly well was just my favorite bait of the night essentially. And tonight the first winner of that is going to be this Yozuri suspended 3 inch minnow. I don't know the exact model of it, but it did absolutely awesome. You can see possibly just all the scratches on the top of the head. You can definitely feel in your hand just how many teeth marks there are on it. 
the only time it let me down is after I caught a massive redfish. I bowed these hooks out and it kind of made the bait unusable at that point. That's when I lost all those speckled trout. But besides that, this bait killed the night. So congratulations to Yozuri, congratulations to this specific bait. You were awesome. Definitely gonna get some more of you. And I am going to find the link to it on Amazon, put in the description so you're able to find it as well. Now this is gonna be both beneficial for you and I. I would love to hear some of y'all's thoughts on some of the baits of the night, as well as give me some baits you want me to try out. I can go out and hopefully get them. Or if there's something specifically, say you're a local bait maker that you would love me to try, please let me know in the comments. I would love to try some out the uh, local bait makers' baits. Uh, give them a shot off the stock because there's definitely plenty of fish here to catch. Well, considering it is 1 a.m. in the morning, I'm probably going to go ahead and call it quits because I still got to produce this video. Once again, congratulations to you, Zuri. Y'all did an awesome job. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to share, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.